Naturally, it's raining. Welcome to my world. Hey, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a look inside my world on Oakfield Farm. Now, the reason that we're on here, it's my personal Let's Play. I've logged quite a few hours on here and I've done quite a bit of things. So let's pull this up and let's take a look and see what have I done? Well, we've logged about 44 hours on here. I've played for currently three minutes before hitting record. And you can see through the totals there, we've done a whole lot. We've worked 2,800 acres or hectares rather. Um, we used 51,000 liters of seed and was that 45,000? No, sorry, 453,000 liters of fertilizer. We've created 136 bales, not very many. Four missions complete. I did those yesterday, yay. And um, well, here we are now. The reason that we're on Oakfield Farm is because very soon the farming agency are going to be coming out with a new version of Oakfield Farm. They're gonna be redoing it and making it Farming Agency Edition. And I want to play on it because I'm getting a little bored of doing the same darn thing over and over again. So first, what do I what do I have? What land do I have? What's in it? What equipment do I have? And what do we need to do? So let's find out. First, what land do we have? We have all of this down here. I'm going to go ahead and select the main area. So you can see everything in green is what we have. Right now we've got grass in the cattle farm and in the sheep pasture, grass in all three of these, five, six, and seven. And then we have oats in one, two, three. And we've got canola in field 15 right here. Tons and tons and tons of area. You may not think it's much, but when you look at you're like, all right, well, there's 130, 203, 345. I just, it starts to add up and you're like, holy cow. I'm currently, speaking of cows, we got a bunch of them, 500 to be exact. Yeah, let's go in here and check that out. So here are our cows. We have 500 cows. Uh, they are 2.2 years old. I just bought them this year. We're currently in summer one. I bought them at midnight, spring one, running three day seasons. And you can see they got a little bit of grass because grazing is included into seasons now. And unfortunately, if you've got animals in a field that has grass, they will eat the grass and, uh, Unfortunately, you see this triangle that's starting to appear off into the distance here? Let's run over here and show you. So this triangle right here is actually where the grazing happens, which is unfortunate to me because I don't want that. I want to be able to use this grass, but because grazing is in effect, I now do not have access to that. However, check this out. You can see it in here as well, which I think is really neat. These are the fields that I've done. I've actually plowed these fields up and using them as grass fields. I've plowed everything up. I have taken full care. I mean, look at that. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. And there you can see our oats and our canola as well as grass through here. Well, here's, here's the big thing. I've got a bunch of grass that needs to be got up. Right now in our silo, we don't actually have a whole lot. I have 355,000 liters of soybeans. Those are waiting to be sold. Uh, tomorrow in game or later on tonight. We may even do that now and today. We've got a little less than a million liters of silage, a um, little more than a million liters of grass, which needs to be turned into hay or silage. We'll figure that out. But right now we've got plenty. So you can see we've got quite a bit. We're doing good, but it's raining and this is not good for us. So what I'm going to do is to aid us a little bit I'm going to turn the time off because if the time is turned off, we don't have to worry about the grass actually deteriorating because in time or in game, no time has passed. So grass just lays on the field. Then we're going to roll through with this bad boy right here and pick it all up. Seems pretty simple, simple enough. It's a whole lot of work and, and I really don't want to do it but it's just gonna have to be done. So here's what I would like to do. I would like to do this in kind of two stages maybe. So let's get some mowing done. Let's get a little bit of work done. Have some fun playing Farming Simulator. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna come through, get all this mowed up. I am using this mower because I like it. <laughs> I really wish I could tell you there's another reason. I really like this mower. There are better mowers out there, yes. But I really like this one. I like this setup. Uh, this is currently, oh yeah. DJ, what are you using? Well, 
We have a modded JCB3230. This is uh, These are actually all in-game mods. You can get these. Everybody can get these for all platforms. Uh, we have the Massey 7726S. That's, I mean, the Massey Ferguson 7000S series, or S7000. can't remember what it is. Um, this is Steam Camp's Agco. If you're on console, you may still have it if you never deleted it. Uh, it's not available on the Mod Hub anymore, though. I've got the Massey 87 that matches the 77. We have a Phoenix Agro Truck. Later on, we're going to be getting the uh, hook lift for that, which I'm really excited about. I do have an Ideal 9T. We've got a Massey Telehandler. Now I've got some trailers that I modded. This holds a million liters. This holds 100,000. We've got a header that goes 19 miles an hour. A couple uh, modded plows. We've got a cedar right here. This is from the... Uh, fertilizer edition mod something like that got some mowers actually for all of this land we only have one set of mowers i've tried doing more workers don't like work in this map so i'm like you know what we'll just use it. we'll do it ourselves i can do that wind rower we got stuff for bailing i have a short uh, short trailer for that do have some stuff for um this so this does half a million liters instead of a full uh 23,000 or whatever it did this, the uh, Bailey Liquid Bowser, this actually just came out as a Lizard brand. I've got this to where it'll hold 100,000 liters, um, price accordingly, of course. And then I've got some stuff from Missy B right here that I've done as well. I really like these trailers, but I needed them to hold more. So I got them, uh, got them taken care of. All's good there. And then we've got a bunch of extensions and replacement mechanic. Even a multi-selling station. And I'll explain why we've got the multi-selling station. That is over at the BGA. Here's the dealio. 500 cows make a lot of slurry. I do not give them straw. I refuse to give them straw. There's no reason to give them straw. They do not deserve the straw that I have to give them. Um, I don't want to deal with the manure because then I have to pick it up and actually work. If I do slurry, if I don't give them straw, well, then I get slurry and it just magically appears, which is I like. I like, I like it when things magically appear. I could take a liquid uh, trailer over there and let it fill right up and be good. As a matter of fact, I may already have the trailer over there. As a matter of fact, yes, yes, I do have the trailer over there already. And <laughs> it's almost full again. 216,000 liters in here now. So we're gonna let that run and fill up. And throughout the day, we'll let it do its thing. And then at 1800 hours of the evening, I sell it. I take it, I sell the slurry, I get about $150,000 a day in game, which is very nice, but it, we use that to buy things that we need, such as um, upgrading equipment, that kind of thing. I mean, you're number three. I have not cheated any money in anything like that. Um, I don't make my own silage or hay. Shocker, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, but I don't. I don't make my own silage or hay. I get a hundred uh, or a million liters of grass, and then I use that to, uh, matter of fact, we need to close this. Go ahead and a little, come. yeah, that'll work. <laughs> we'll do that, there you go. So I still play, and I have been playing this game to have some fun. I've been playing this now. Uh, once you are seeing this video, the day it releases, I will be one day short of three weeks into this gameplay. Been having a lot of fun, doing a lot of really cool stuff with this, and passing the time. Just been having fun. I wanted to do something. Um, Lone Oak, still rocking, still rolling. Right now I'm taking a little bit of a break from Lone Oak, and uh, we're going to be jumping right back on that. We're still going to be on the version that JTurk and GeForce put together, um, which is why I'm going to be moving my personal game over to the version of Oakfield that the guys over at Farming Agency are putting together. So... I would say we've yapped enough. I'm gonna go through, now that you know everything going on with this, um, because we're gonna have to start a new game save when we get the new version. It is what it is. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get some mowing done. Maybe all of them, maybe all the fields, maybe just this field. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna sit back, relax, I'm gonna put some tunes on, rock and roll, and get some mowing done. Oh yeah, and these, these mow really quick too. Well, we've got this field done. I switched over to this mower right here, at least it, and we've got this field and the field next to us, and then another little field, actually one that didn't show you. It's this little guy right here, a little placeable area. Turn that in as well. 
Did miss some spots here, but unfortunately that was in this spot where I had no idea where in the world I was mowing. But I've still got three fields left. We're still running at time zero, so the grass is going to be totally fine down there. But we need to get in here and get this area done. So we've got massive... I mean, these are ridiculously big fields. I love them, but they take a minute. They take a hot minute, which is why we've got the Chrome Big M. I love this. This is... Uh, I believe the, the version that I've got is kind of old. I don't know which version it is, but this is not a new version by any means. This, I think the version of this is like a year old, probably more. I was using this off screen on Peterville. That ought to give you an idea of how old this mod is. We're using this on that gameplay. So we're just rocking through, getting this grass up. We're going to come back and pick it all up and it'll turn into either silage or it'll turn into hay. Um, I believe the first pass of everything is going to be a silage pass and then the second pass will be a hay pass now dj i don't even think i explained why i'm on oakfield farm now we mentioned that the farming agency is going to be coming out with a new version of this for pc players the oakfield farm farming agency edition it's going to be bringing with it maze plus it's going to be bringing with it heightened fruit types all kinds of stuff all of the maze plus extensions all four of the extension or all, the maze plus plus the uh, maze plus plus all of the extensions i believe there's three official extensions right now two of which are downloadable the rest are built into the map as uh official things plus along with that you're also going to be getting support for the straw harvest dlc seasons all that good stuff very good very nice i like it i like it i like it and then i am actually going to come through and create my own custom seasons geo for it which i'm really excited about um, i've never made my own seasons geo i've only edited them so i'm going to take all of the edits that i have uh, gotten comfortable with and make my very own so i'm kind of excited about that it's it's going to be a um a totally different kind of turning point for me as a uh, YouTuber. But it's, oh, again, it's only for me on the back side. I won't be sharing it or anything like that. So um, you guys are not going to see it, unfortunately. But yeah, but I want to do that. That way I can have all the new crops and uh, kind of increase some growing times with those, but also still have access to the growth times that I'm used to. But at the end of the day, I have to have a new game save. I can't use this game save anymore. So that's why I'm trying to do as much as I can now. That way we're able to sell stuff, we're able to make some money, um, and then we're able to turn around, get our animals back, um, fast forward a year in game while they're fed, make sure they've got everything that they need. I'll probably turn on the animal food mod and just let it run for a year so that I can get the animals back to the point that they're at right now because we're a year in we're kidding we're three days in but at the end of this itty bitty mini series we will be a full year in hopefully man it's gonna take a long time to plant and stuff like that but that's where we're gonna make money okay cool i'm gonna get this uh the rest of this done and then we're gonna have to come through and pick all of this up on all of these fields and we're going to start picking up reverse we're going to start on the field that we finished mowing on. Mowing's all done, and we did a really, really, really good job. It looks nice. It's going to be very easy to pick up. It's just going to be time-consuming, but that's okay. Of course, it's going to be time-consuming. Everything takes time. And speaking of taking time, that whole <laughs> that field, I'm so dreading that field. Let's pull through here. Let's get this drop down, set our cruise control, and rock and roll. And there is 10,000 liters already. 20,000 liters. This is going to be pretty good. We're going to get a whole lot of grass on here. I'm rooting for 2 million liters. I don't know if we're going to get it. But that's what I'm that's what I'm shooting for here. I want to get 2 million liters off of all of these fields. We might get it. We might not. We'll see. I believe I remember doing this before and we only got about like 1.6 so we'll we'll see exactly what happens i'm not going to worry too much if we miss a little bit of grass here and there it'll all disappear anyway so later on it'll be totally fine but yeah i do uh, all the grass one great thing is the only thing that can't go through these shrubs is headers you can't take headers through those 
everything else go through just fine. Um, but I will be handling those shrubs in the next update because not only is the new update going to be a Maze Plus Forge extension, CCM, horse extension, uh, just this amazing farming agency masterpiece. But DJ is going to throw it into Giant's Editor and get rid of some stuff that's super annoying, like trees in between fields. These, these trees are fine. I'm, I'm cool with those. Um, but like trees in the middle of a field or, you know, shrubs that are just kind of annoying and in my way. Um, I've got, an, I've got a, a way that I like to do this map now. I've got it kind of figured out. And I know what I want, what I don't want around. And I'm going to be bringing you along for all that as well. It's very, very exciting. Well, we are coming up on the end of one headland on one field. And we are at 36% right now. We'll be close to 38, 39% by the time we get down here. So there's 30. Now we're going to be at 40%. Hey, there it is. So 40% after one headland. Not too shabby. Now I just got to go back and forth. I wonder what we're going to get on both of these fields together. And down to the end right here, we did the entire side over there. And we've done this much on this side. And we've got our 1 million liters as our first trailer load right here. This is going to be silage. Pretty easy to make silage when you've got F11. But I still like to have to do half the work. I feel like it's weird just to cheat it all in. But, you know, you can put this in a silo, ferment it. Or you can just say, um, okay, turn around. Go, 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 do it before they turn back around. Come on, DJ. And turn back around. Hey, silage. Yeah. It's going to be silage anyway. I'm just, just do it. <laughs> just, uh, this part of the, this kind of thing, I'm like, I just don't care. Just get the job done. <laughs> so we dump this in. We've got our silage. We take a look. And we're rocking uh, close to 2 million liters of silage now, which I am very, very happy about. We will be taking food and stuff over whenever we do the uh, the next thing. So what I'm going to do, at least the game plan, is to fill up the silo with this and that. So, you know, put a little bit of silage here, a little bit of, you know, grass there, whatever. Things that we already have. Just put a little bit of it in the silo and then go into the XML files and replace the numbers. Do that, pretty easy to manage. Um, I found that when you're doing things with animals with numbers in the XML, it gets a little bit interesting and sometimes you can crash a game. Um, I actually did that with one of my game saves of Mercury Farm. Uh, it was actually right at the end too because I had done a lot of really cool stuff. And I was like, yeah, you will just fill up the horses because I think I bought like eight horse pins or something like that and i came back into the game and it was it was bad it was real bad <laughs> so we don't do that again i don't mess with that anymore um but the silos silos just fine so there we go that one's done so we got 11 percent here and now all we got to do is pick all this up i think we'll probably get close to a million, maybe not quite a million liters with the rest of it. But I guess there's only one way to find out. And we've almost got two million liters. And there it is. Yep. Sure enough, two million liters. We ended up finishing right here. We still have one field to go. We've got the uh, one sheep field and then the rest of this cow bin will probably get, I don't know, 200,000 liters maybe off of all that. I did get the small field down there, so that is good. Um, and that will soon be a placeable area. Plan on putting a few things down there and maybe even some uh, another sheep pasture as well since we have, as a matter of fact, I can actually show you this. Go into animal pens and we should have our sheep. Yeah, right here, the open sheep pasture. This kind of gives you an idea of where you can place it and it fits like perfect right there and you can actually have like sheep in here and i was like that's that's pretty cool so i, I kind of want to do it that granted this area right here is not completely squared off but it's, it's kind of cute i mean i like it i think it's neat you can buy a couple more put them over here whatever 
Uh, this might be a field I take over eventually. Uh, just plan on going further and further out into the world and just taking over everything. All right, where is dry grass? There it is. All right, now we have hay. We can put this in here and then we will finally be very, 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 very close to completing today's task. We still need to come through and fertilize it, but that's gonna be pretty darn easy. We've got everything we need for that. And that'll be our task for today, once that's finished up. And then the next task will actually be harvesting, which will be either tomorrow or the next day. We'll have to figure out exactly what's gonna happen with that. And then once that harvest is done, we actually will have to change over because that's going to be everything kind of excited kind of scared we'll see we'll see we'll see either way all right let's finish up let's get all this grass up and then we'll come through and we'll get this fertilized we ended up getting a little bit over three hundred and eighty thousand, so we've got one million three hundred and eighty two thousand two hundred and whatever that number was as far as that goes. Now this is our JCB. It's not, not really JCB colors and it's got jewels and really bright lights. I love it. This is a really cool tractor, man. It's quick, so it goes 43 miles per hour. That's your top speed. Um, it's got all wheel drive, it, which is locked right now. We've got eight wheels instead of the standard people four wheels so we can take turns very, very good. And I have a modded fertilizer spreader on the back that gives me a 50 meter spread. It's actually the same one that I used on Sandy Bay. If you guys watch that series and you just gun it. <laughs> Doesn't like going uphill very much, but uh, flat land and going downhill, this thing is all for it. The reason I bought this was for one thing and one thing only literally what i'm doing right here i could fertilize everything super quick get it over with and move on because there's a lot going on on this gameplay and i just need to get some work done man <laughs> we got stuff to do so that's what we've got this field's pretty nice because all you do is hit one headland and then one strip down center and then it's done however the field up here this one's a little bit bigger takes a little bit more work to do well, we're going to come through here, ba boom just like so, and rock and roll. So again, all we've got left to do today is fertilizing this field. So I'm going to get this field done, get it fertilized, get it done, and get it, fer <clears throat> get it fertilized, <laughs> and, and move on. So here we are. We have completely finished everything. The grass fields are all refertilized, and we're ready to go. We're ready to progress. Here's what we need to do first. I need to jump in and we're gonna take a look and see. A, where's our soybeans? There we go. So soybeans, anything over $3,687 sell. So let's take a look at our soybeans. 3,600 and well, Hilltop Stores is kind of close. Yeah, Hilltop Stores is about the closest thing that we've got right there. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna save the game real quick. There we go. Redouble check. 3687 is our number to watch. So here's where we go back into F11. I'm going to change our time scale down to 500. That's usually a pretty good one. Let's go up. Let's hit 120 to start with. And then I'm just going to kind of creep on the soybean prices. And really, if I see something at 3700, which we should see, we're going to take that price. If not, we're just going to reload our save game, come back, and we'll say right here. And we're moving too slow. So let's go right here. Also, we can jump in here and go ahead and start reloading slurry up because that's going to be something we need to do. Okay. Um, our price <laughs> edge grain vault is fighting itself. 3640, 3656. I'm not a betting man. I just want to take the best price I could possibly take. We do need to keep an eye on everything as well, because once we get uh, to 1,800 hours, then we're going to start sell, 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 sell. All right. Uh, 36, 89, 36, 37. Oh, boy. Right, 1,600. Prices are dropping real bad, like real hard right now. Um, 
Yeah, that was that was our time. Well, hold up, Willow Willowbrook stores. Oh goodness, we are getting late. Oh, um, Willowbrook stores. Yeah, Willowbrook stores just took it over. Swooping prices just took over there. We're still lower. Um, are we still running here? Yeah, we still got 50, uh, 50 some thousand here. Okay, well that's that's no big deal. We'll um. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go back in time a little bit. So here's what we got. Willow Brick Stores is giving us 37.18 for our soybeans. A hundred percent, we are going to take that. This is actually still filling. So we have we have 30,000 liters left. Unfortunately, only have one semi truck on this game safe, and that's all we're gonna be able to use. We're just gonna go ahead and sell the slurry first. I mean, it, it, it's fine. Slurry usually never changes price. Uh, what is it? 300 and some. Yeah, four hundred and seventy-nine dollars. It's the exact same price all the time, and we've still got ten thousand liters in here. Let's go and turn it on. And we are almost down to the end, and right there it is. So we have four hundred and twelve thousand liters of slurry. This is actually way more than I normally have. Usually we've got about like I don't know, two hundred thousand liters, something like that. Two hundred, two hundred fifty. So. Uh, because it's summer, I believe that is why they're... <laughs> that's why they're going so much. <laughs> but again, if you're playing in seasons, you're either going to get slurry or you're going to get manure. That all depends on if you give them uh, any straw. So if you give them straw, you get manure. No straw, you get slurry. And well, I prefer the slurry literally every time. Ooh, we are flying right now. I uh, want to thank huge shout out to Missy B modding for this trailer right here. She made the trailer, it's out on all platforms, and then I kind of went in and, well, did what I do. So, let me show you how I make money on Slurry. To the BGA we go, and this is going to be a very, very quick processor. Mostly quick process. The BGA does a pretty good job. I'll uh, see, we need to change time scale two times one. There we go. And we will dump. Now, this will dump out pretty quick. Of course, you get your money at midnight, so we'll just hang out, sit and wait on that. But in the meantime, we will go over and get our digest state, which is at the top right-hand corner of your screen. And then immediately bring it right here <laughs> and sell it. I put a big uh, edge grain vault right here. I have zero interest in uh, keeping slurry. I have no reason for it. I don't want it. I have no reason to keep the digest state that's made from selling the slurry. Yep, so therefore, that's exactly what I do. So we'll come through here. We will not get it yet. Haha, <laughs> tricked you out. You actually have to turn around this truck. The Tatra turns right way better. <laughs> it's like a model. I'm not sure if they turn better right or left, but you've got uh, this right here. Got to be able to turn. Come through. 123,000 liters of digestate that we got from that. Let's see, just double checking, making sure that it's not giving us any more. It's almost instantaneous because I have the BGA except 100, I think it's 100,000 liters a second, 10,000 liters a second, something like that. Either way, it is literally instantaneous from the time that you dump it in until the time that you get this, even if you're at times one. So here we are. We should be getting to the end. There it is. Yep. That's all of our digest state, and that's all we're going to get. Then we pull straight, literally on our way out, pull straight forwards. And we will sell the Digestate, which will be the exact same price that you would be getting for slurry here, which is $87 per thousand liters. You don't get a lot. And you'll see right here, $11,000. So not a lot, but you get enough to where it's worth it. And that's all I really care about. Just enough to make it worth it. And I'll leave you alone. <laughs> Speaking of, that is that. Now we need to, let's see if we can squeeze in through here. There we go. We're going to go back and we're going to make a bunch of money before we leave for the day because our soybeans are ready to sell. So we're going to have to grab our semi-trailer. We're going to fill up with soybeans and then literally come right back over here because that, I believe, is where our price is going to be for soybeans. Uh, let's see. Yes. Yep, there it is. Willowbrook 37. Crash counter plus one. If you're curious, this is where I keep my semi-trailers right here. 
is the easiest thing for me. I don't really need them to be anywhere else. And this works perfectly fine for me. Everything is white with gray wheels. I'll look pretty good. Boom, come through here. We'll get our soybeans. 300 and some odd thousand liters of those. This will dump pretty quick. I think I've got it set to dump at 5,000 liters per second. That's not too bad. And then we just head back to Willowbrook stores. Uh, $3,718 per thousand liters. Very likely what we'll do is we will sit there and wait until that price maxes out um, or we see a loss. That's when we'll sell. It's pretty, pretty simple. Well, that didn't last very long. <laughs> the price literally went to green thumbs up to normal. So $3,700. We got 355,000 liters. It's done pretty yeah well i guess let's uh, say i think it'll be quick but it's not gonna be too crazy here's the thing our money's going up like crazy there's 700 710 20 30 40 50 60 man and we, we're just at the beginning stages uh we're gonna be getting um i think well over a million dollars for this but it's still gonna take a minute to to do i love this trailer i love these crampy trailers like crampy trailers are literally my favorite trailers in the game however there's only a few mods there's only like two people that make crampy mods i really like them i like to go with this while we're sitting here waiting um i do have a game plan for our sheep now we're going to be using the dd mod passion uh sheep wool auto loading pallets so i, I or, um the it runner thing so we've got those i do plan on using that and plan on using the new IT Runner truck as well, the, the Tatra. I actually bought this because I saw that that was going to be a thing. It's now released, and I want it. And here we are right at the end. We're going to be close to $2 million by the end of all this. Holy cow. $1.3 a million dollars for all of that. We did good, man. We did really, really good. I'm very happy. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Thanks for joining me along on this awesome ride. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you don't miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel, no matter what they may be. Join us as we will be doing a harvest very soon, maybe in the next day or so. I'll be bringing you guys along on this ride with me. Very, very excited. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.